Hey, thanks for stopping by today. I think we're all uh, gearing up for the big rush for the holiday season. And I've had a number of clients uh, ask me to help them with files that they've purchased online uh, when they want to go ahead and uh, modify the file. And what I've seen in a number of files uh, will trip you up. And so what I thought I'd do is I'd make a short video on some things that you can check uh, before you start to modify a file that you've purchased. Um, and that's what we're gonna cover today. Really appreciate all the support. We just passed 8,000 subscribers on our channel and I couldn't be more excited. So let's go ahead and get into how to, how to uh, if you were gonna modify this simple file, uh, what do we need to check before we get into doing that? So let's talk about the end goal here. What, um, what we wanted to do is we wanted to take this <coughs> little rectangle here and move it up and kind of make a neck out of the snowman. So the goal here is to be able to join the snowman head and the rectangle below to basically give this all one shape. And if you just try to do this initially and you come in here and you select these two shapes and you go to the weld tool, you will notice that the snowman head completely disappears. And so that's a clear indication that there's probably something not quite right uh, for light burn to, to, to do that uh, Boolean function. And so what I'm gonna show you today is things to check if you're, if you're getting into these problems. Um, one of the first things that I will show you is um, in this particular case, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to modify the snowman head a little bit because of the way it is currently. But what I wanted to do is show you if you uh, ever have a problem and you come up here and you come down to online documentation. And if I uh, come in here and I go to the search tool and I say weld, you'll notice that it comes right up. And so let's talk a little bit, of, a, a few things about what you actually need when you're, uh, when you're trying to weld something and it's not working. Um, the, the big thing that you'll notice here is that, note that the weld requires closed shapes. Um, and so if it's not a closed shape, uh, your weld feature will not work. And so usually that's the first thing I look for when I'm modifying a design that I haven't created myself, is, a, is, is if it's a closed shape. Well, what is a closed shape? Let's go ahead and check this out. So a closed shape typically is when I select it, um, you'll notice right now, because we've got the little marching ants, it's grouped. So the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup it. And now we've, we've got, uh, now it's ungrouped. And so in order to see if it's a closed shape, I'm going to click just anywhere on the snowman head. And you will notice that it only selected this line segment. It didn't select the entire snowman head. So that means that this is not a closed shape and therefore that's why the weld tool is not working. These are all individual line segments. Um, none of these Boolean actions down here are going to work uh, when it's not a closed shape. So we got to fix that first. Um, so just remember if, if it's a closed shape like this try or excuse me this rectangle down here if I click anywhere on the rectangle it should select the entire shape and that way you know it's a closed shape. If there's any part of this shape that's not uh, lit up, it means that it's an open shape and it won't work for fill, it won't work for uh, your Boolean functions, and so you've got to kind of determine that first. Okay, now that we know that our snowman head is not a closed shape, let's come over here to the uh, carrot nose part of this snowman just to see if it's a closed shape as well. And if I click on this, you can see right now that it's grouped, which uh, is a little suspicious to me because usually a single shape, there'd be no reason to group it. So let's come up here and ungroup it. 
and now it's ungrouped. And if I click on any part of this uh, carrot nose, you're going to notice that it too is just three line segments. So if I wanted to do anything with this, um, it's best if we close it, uh, make it a closed shape. Let's say that I wanted to engrave the inside of this carrot nose. You're not going to be able to do that because this is not a closed shape. So we've got some work to do on the um, on the snowman's head and the uh, carrot nose. And so the quickest way to do this, uh, I would highly recommend you study some node editing. Um, that's typically the quickest way to do this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight the snowman head. And I'm going to come in here to the node editing tool. And I'm going to come up here and the first thing that I'm going to be looking for is you can see right here that I have an end here and an end here. And uh, that's one of the reasons why it's not working. So I need to take this node and snap it to that node. And you got to basically tie all your nodes together. If they're overlapping and they're not actually end to end, so you got a node uh, end here, a node end here. So if I select this node here, I've got to bring it back to this node here. Sometimes you got to really zoom in and it should snap to the end. Okay, then let's go ahead and follow this around. You can see that it looked initially like it was connected, but it's not connected from end to end. So we got to take this and snap it to that end. Now you might have to modify the way this looks a little bit. If for some reason we wanted to straighten that up, we could always just move it. Um, that's where you can kind of make it your own. But same thing here, you'll notice that these node ends or these line ends are not connected. And that's what's giving your, your, uh, you a problem when you try to use the Boolean function. Down here, it looks like all the rest of these are connected. So let's go ahead and now go back to our select tool. And if I select anywhere on the head, now you can see it selects the entire snowman head and that makes this a closed shape. Now we should be able to go ahead and use our Boolean function to go ahead and weld these two shapes together. But before we do that, let's go ahead and fix our <clears throat> the uh, carrot nose. So I'm going to go ahead and select, actually I'm going to select the entire carrot. I'm going to come over here to node editing and let's see what's going on here. As you can see, one line segment doesn't touch the other line segment. Okay. Same here. Um, they've got to all touch. If you snap it into edit, or excuse me, to, to node edit uh, mode, and you move these uh, nodes so they all touch, they will automatically snap together. Now let's see what's going on down here. Uh, you can see that this is not connected, so we need to bring this out to there. And now let's see if this carrot is a closed shape. So I'm going to just go back to my select tool, click off of it. I'm going to click anywhere on the shape and you can see that it, it highlighted the entire shape. So now you know this is a closed shape. This will work uh, with a fill command or mo a fill mode, um, those kind of things. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to try to modify and weld the, uh, the rectangle down here to the snowman head up top. Okay, so we should be able to do what we want to now with um, merging this rectangle with the snowman's head, but let's verify this is all one closed shape. This is all one closed shape. So now that we've got two closed shapes, I should be able to go ahead and arrow up this rectangle just so it overlaps the bottom of the snowman's head. And then if we select both the snowman's head and the rectangle down below and come over here to our weld function, select weld, and now you can see it turns it all into one single shape because we fixed the snowman that was a bunch of uh, single line segments. 
So that's how you can go ahead and modify and uh, get your uh, files the way they need to be before you want to go ahead and make your modifications. Um, I hope this information was helpful. As always, I really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and comment. If you like the content on the channel, you could really help me out by hitting the thanks button. Um, it's right next to the share button. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, everybody have a great day.